What's up? Brandon Lilly here. As you know, uh, I did injure both legs, had surgery on both knees, so I'm really just getting back into the gym a little bit. Um, this is kind of day two of my formulated cycle. I'd come into the gym and just kind of seen some numbers that I could do. I worked up to a 400 pound bench press. So I'm kind of basing everything around what I can do with my upper body. Uh, being in the hospital, um, I think my CNS took a pretty good beating, not only from the injury, but from just laying around. I still kind of feel wobbly with weights. Um, what I'm doing here is a lot of volume just to try to get some stability control back in my arms and in my shoulders. That's where I feel the weakest. Um, I actually dislocated my shoulder in the fall as well. But, uh, you know, glad to be back in the gym. This is, like I said, 185 for sets of 10, four sets. Um, just just mainly trying to get the muscles activating properly again and get everything working in unison. Um, I'm definitely going to try to accelerate the weights quickly. Uh, I have no intentions of staying light for very long, but I also know that a 600, bench press, a 600 pound bench press at this point in time is not very likely or not even very necessary. I've got a pretty good ways to go until my legs are back. So um, I'm just going to be doing a lot of things to, to really cover my bases and just build up a lot of base level type strength. This is something that I never used to do. Um, I used to do flies sparingly. So I'm going to be doing them a lot more, trying to develop the pec muscles a little bit as I'd gotten away from some of that. Uh, chasing the 600 pound bench press, you know, I was really just chasing a number and not um, doing a lot of the little things that I needed to do in my training. And I think in some ways that's what led to my, my leg injuries. You know, I was so focused on a bigger squat and a bigger deadlift that I stopped doing some of the necessary accessory work the way that I used to as an, and intensely as I used to. Um, so, so now that's kind of what I'm paying attention to a lot more is the accessory side of things. Um, as you can see, I've been doing bicep curls almost every single day. I haven't done bicep curls on a consistent basis. You know, really I've done them the, the last year or so, but just on Sundays. Um, but now I'm going to be doing them two to three times a week just to get the, the cushion that I need on the front of the arm in the bench press. You know, you look at guys like uh, Scott Mendelson and Eric Spoto, they've got pretty good biceps going on and that also helps to give you leverage in the bench press. So I'm going to be trying to do that. And this movement right here, this is a 45 pound dumbbell. I used to do 80s to 90s on this movement and 45s are absolutely killing me today. Um, it's just to show you, you know, how far the the CNS took a beating, you know, and um, my triceps, like I said, triceps and shoulders are really unstable right now. Like if I stay in a proper groove, I feel really, really good. But if I get outside that groove a little bit, um, things don't feel so good. So I'm really trying to work on form, good form, staying in a good line and uh, just build my upper body as much as you can. But as you can see here, you know, I am walking. I have a brace on my left leg. I do not have a brace on the right leg right now. Um, you know, the right leg is still a little bit fragile, but I'm doing as much as I can. I'm getting as healthy as I can. And I look forward to getting back on the flat platform in the, in the future. And uh, I hope to do better than I've ever done before. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it.